Okay, people, how are you? This is a video about avatars. Why? Because it has been made known to me that some of you might not have ever used the program before and are watching my tutorials. And in my basics tutorial, I don't quite point out where the avatar folders are and how you pull in an avatar. So if you notice, avatar is highlighted. There are three avatars that come with the program. I am in the folder avatar V2, uh, F meaning female version two. And there are three avatars, Mara, Grace, and Fifi. If you pull them in, all you have to do is double click, but make sure you're only using one avatar at a time meaning don't try to load too many avatars into one scene because the program is made to simulate one garment at a time you will not get your arrangement points and i'll show you in just a minute i'm going to make a quickie little dress here so that you guys can see but if you look up on the left hand uh side of your program you'll see you have your folders your forward folders are favorites your folders are avatar fabric, garment, hardware and trends, hanger, and stage. We are looking at the avatar folders right now. How you pull in your avatars? You simply choose an avatar in female version one or female version two, and you double click and it will load her into the program. These little blue dots you see here are arrangement points. When you use arrangement points, it's to place your garment onto the avatar's body in a certain proximity close to the body so that when you do simulate it, it simulates on the body. But the program is not made for more than one avatar. It will not give you arrangement points for each avatar. It will only give you arrangement points for the last avatar that you pulled in. And as you can see, we pulled in Grace who is uh, at the end there. And she's the one that gets all the points. So we're gonna go and we're gonna delete these avatars one by one. So to delete an avatar one by one, you can go to avatar delete. But as you can see, the arrangement points are still at the last avatar loaded. You can delete another avatar. The arrangement points still don't go away. They don't go to the first avatar at all. So you need to delete all avatars and double click on a new avatar and put that new avatar into the folder and then you will have her arrangement points as follows. You click on the pattern piece and you put it where you think it should go on the arrangement points and then you simulate. Now you know that you hit space bar to simulate. If you don't know that, now you know. Space bar will take all of your patterns and sewing and arranged patterns on the avatar. Now what just happened there? I deleted the avatar while I had the simulation playing. You have to stop the simulation, then you could delete the avatar so that your garment does not continue to simulate to the ground. You can go to any folder and you can pull in an avatar. If you want it to be wearing the same garment, you can reset the 3D arrangements and re-simulate and for this avatar she's a little bit thinner than version 2 avatar which is the first one we used and version 2 avatar is a little more shapely so she will bust out of the garment even though their size measurements are somewhat similar this model has more curves speaking of curves where do you find your sizes in the avatar folder, you can find a lot of different uh, choices and uh, you can choose different hair. You can recolor the hair if you like in your property editor. You can click, click on the color and make it black if you want that hairstyle to be black. If you want that hairstyle to be uh, another color that maybe shows through the highlights, you can pick any other color and the streaks of the hair and the highlights will show up. So you can make a purple hair if you want to. 
blonde hair, whatever hairstyle is there, she will be able to wear. So up at the far top, you can change her shoes. She'll wear flats, she'll wear boots, she'll wear sneakers. She will wear whatever choices that you give her that go with your garment or the look that you're, find a look that you're trying to achieve. Um, but like I was saying, in the upper, that folder there, upper left, two dots folder will bring you to the previous folder, will bring you to the previous folder and the previous folder beyond that. There are many different size choices. Just be careful when you're changing the size that you either don't have your garment simulated because it can get caught up or if you do have your garment simulated you'll see that it will in the basic default fabric it will just drape around you won't really have to change the size until you want to go back and make it a little looser or make it a little tighter you can choose a pose but be careful because you can also mess up the simulation with changing the poses and sizes at the same time. So I would say make sure that you are ready with your garment 3D arrangements to change a pose and you know it will also depend on how complex your garment is. For some of us it's a source of frustration. So no matter what size you pick you can pick a plus size, you can pick petite, you can pick uh, whatever size you find in the folder, whatever pose you find in the folder. There are our default poses, which simulate a little bit better than the uh, poses that we have made on our own. Some of us have a video about that. But yes, so you can go ahead and redrape it or you can resize it to fit your new avatar and just know that there will be some complications because of the collision uh, of the new avatar she's got more flesh and the dress is not really growing so you have to reset it and re-simulate it if you want to see that happen so just kind of make your choices in advance of what you want to see and it will cause less frustration you want to make it a little bit wider to fit your avatar's sides you can just adjust your pattern accordingly uh, there is a video where I do try out the auto scale uh, hmm I wonder if I release that video <laughs> I will check and I will give you a video about auto scaling um, and grading all at the same time so manipulating the avatar size you can also pull in Alv Alvanon avatars, but the Alvanon avatars, you have to have permission from Alvanon to use it. Now, I haven't loaded my um, Alvanon file, so I'll do it while everyone's here watching the video so you can see what happens if you have Alvanon um, downloads for Clo 3D. You cannot morph them. You cannot... Um, add them as a morph target to the Clo 3D avatars, you have to have it as a separate avatar. So right now I'm going to try to load it and it's going to give me an error and it's going to say, hey, wait a minute. Now I've downloaded quite a few uh, Alvanon folders, Alvanon uh, 3D figures. So you'll see the 3D figures is quite different from the Clo 3D figures. But what you have to do is once you get an account with Alvanon, you go in and you can download your full, your uh, avatar sizes that you want to do. So it's telling me like, hey man, where's your APF file? So now I go on a journey to try to find out <laughs> where I put the APF file. It's somewhere and I got to make sure that I get the latest file. So I'll look for my APF file and I'll look in my folder here I have one but this looks like this date is an older one so I'm just gonna go and check my AP file and this is from July okay so we are cooking with gas so let's put that file into the program so that I can use my Alvanon avatars 
There it is. And done. But wait a minute. Why is she coming out over here? Because initially I had her uh, position for a two, I believe. So now if you just go back and re-click it, once you've loaded your APF file, you can load your Alvanon file, whatever size you're uh, looking to render on and fit on. The Alvanon forms are really for fit. These avatars are um, made from plenty of research uh, industry standards. I'm just going to make a little cuter little dress here. And that's it guys. So basically find any avatars is really simple. You just double click and load them in. Choosing the avatar and the avatar pose becomes a little bit more of a final presentation decision as far as fitting and as far as sizes go. It's usually uh, a little bit simpler and you use a T pose or an A pose. This model is an A pose. A T pose would be her arms uh, straight out. I don't show you the T pose, but if you Google T pose, you will find out what an avatar T pose is. And there you have it. So you can go ahead and start draping and start fitting on your industry standard form or your Clo 3D form and you can start your garment that way. So I hope this helps you. I hope this little amendment is good for my other videos. Okay guys, bye-bye.